Well, good morning, everybody. Well, it's uh, time to look at romance again this morning. And to all those romantic couples out there, and I speak, you are all romantic. And um, to all the married couples especially, um, I said I'd start looking at some dating things this morning. Well, how many of us can be honest enough to say we don't often prepare well enough for most things in life? We've got to do something, we rush into it, we do it, and um, we, we don't often spend much time preparing or planning um, what we are going to do. And so when we look at dating, and I'm going to give you some tips for dates and dating, but I'm going to start with a very, very important thing for dating and a very practical thing. I want you to picture this scenario. The husband decides... He's going to take his wife out for a romantic dinner. He books a table and a nice place where his wife would love to eat. And he goes to the manager and he says, could you just put this little bowl of flowers, three, four flowers with a little card um, for your wife on the table. And um, then you rush off and fetch your wife. And uh, so you, you've prepared the whole evening. You've got the right place. You've got the right venue. You're going to surprise her with those few beautiful little flowers on the table that's just for her. And then you go fetch her. And off you go. And, you know, I, I know a lot of men are then excited. They're feeling the man, yeah, I'm doing this. And off they go. And then you get to the restaurant and your wife is, oh, wow. Oh, thank you for bringing me. Oh, this is so nice of you. So cool. And uh, love you lot. Whatever. <laughs> and... Um, then go to the table and it's reserved and she sees the flowers and um, she's, you know, most ladies say, are those for me? Yes, dear, they're for you. And uh, adds to the surprise. And then you sit down and you have a few words about where you are and what you're going to eat and that. And then, then what? <laughs> uh, then you want to start talking about the kids and the bulls and work, and who didn't do what, and who did do what, and all those things. Whoa, stop, put the brakes on, handbrake as well. No, don't go there on your date. The most important thing on your date, and, and I'm speaking more to men, because I'm speaking from my experience and, and, and from a man's side. Um, we, we, we can do all that, and we get psyched up, we think, wow, we're doing the right thing, and we're getting out there and we're going to treat our wife, surprise her and uh, her favorite place and flowers and we sit down and, and then what? Hopefully you're not going to pull out your cell phones and start texting. Um, that would be disastrous. You do that, men, and it's the end of all the surprise, all the blessing that's come through that day. I really recommend. And this is not what I'm going to talk about today because this morning there's a very important thing we've got to look at. But I believe if you're going on a date or going out with your wife or family, for goodness sake, the world will not end and you will not dissolve if you switch your cell phone off for the time you are on your date. Please hear me. We are so tempted. Uh, we actually don't know that we're actually addicted to that phone and it's got to be on. And, 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 and a couple was telling me in counseling that uh, she was so excited and happy, but then uh, stuff was coming through from the husband's business. I'll oh, just look at it. And you just, oh, yeah, I'll have to see. So she was furious and she just felt it wasn't about her. So you know what? Nothing's going to happen. No earthquakes, no thunderbolts. You're not going to die. <laughs> Switch those cell phones off when you go out for a date. But what I want to share with you is, you know, you get there, you sit, and what do you start talking about? Have you thought it through? Be prepared should be your motto when you go on a date. And this comes from both sides. If it's a surprise for the wife or a surprise for the husband and they don't know about it, obviously the party who doesn't know can't prepare or, or just can't give it some thought. But the one who has prepared it, or if you planned it together, just give it some thought. Just, just be prepared. When we get there and, and the initial excitement and joy settles down, 
Then what? Are we going to look at each other and go, mm, no, be prepared. I would recommend that when you get in a, a date prepared or when you plan in a date, just think of, wow, when we're there, I would love to tell my spouse, or if you're engaged or you're going out and you're not married yet, my, my spouse, my girlfriend, my fiance, I'd just love to tell them that this night is so special for us to spend together. If you can kick off with something like that, you've got the evening made. You sit down and say, I'm so glad that we can sit down and just do something special together. It's so good to spend time with you. And then start thinking of what you would love to tell that person that you don't often get chance to in your busyness, in your day, in your work, and, and then housework and kids and, and all sorts of things that we busy ourselves with as families. And um, just give it some thought. I even recommend if you're someone who worried you forget, jot it down, make a few points somewhere, keep it in your pocket even. <laughs> and uh, just think, you know, I want to tell my wife what a great mom she is to our kids and, and how much I appreciate her for that. And um, yeah, I want to tell my husband that um, he's so special that he's always there for me and he's working hard for us. And, um, and, and then I believe what is very, very important for the planning part is to think of some good memories to share. Maybe, um, you know, it's your wedding day. If, uh, do you remember this when we got married? Do you remember this, what happened? And, oh, that was so funny, but that was so awesome. And you look beautiful. And, you know, oh, my man, you look so handsome. <laughs> and you might think, what is this old man talking about? Hey, these are things that get romance into action. And I think if you can share a happy memory, a holiday, something that was exciting, something you planned together, something you really enjoyed, <clears throat> um, perhaps you took a trip somewhere special for a long weekend and it's just in your heart to share those memories and to talk about those memories. You know, the Lord says in his word in the Old Testament that the people were to remind their children of what the Lord had done. They were to tell them over and over what the Lord had done. There's a reason for that. Because they, they get an understanding of the Lord. They, they, they get a love for the Lord again. They see what He's done for them and they just uh, want to worship Him and appreciate Him. But you know, when we do that to one another, we build each other up. And um, we give each other something to, to, to just add on when the one speaks, the other one can say something. So when the one says that, uh, oh, you know that holiday uh, we, we had at, in, in Yubongo, do you remember what happened on the beach? And the other one can add to it, yes, I remember, and your ice cream fell in the sand, and, <laughs> and you have a good laugh. And, and so create things that create a conversation about you two. That's what a date's about. A date is spending time together, sharing things together, that bring joy, that bring good memories, that build us up, that edify us, that complement us. And I think you will see the change in both of you on that day. Your date is not to discuss the fridge you want to buy. <laughs> uh, and have you got enough for the deposit? Or, or, or oh my goodness, the car needs tires. Um, those are things you discuss at home. And those are things you plan for at home. And those are things you, you decide on at home. When you're together having perhaps your little board meeting, you get together and discuss those things and share what you've got to look at. But when you're on a date, it's all about the two of you. It's just about you two and how much you love each other and what you appreciate about one another. And, and the genuine, please hear me, the genuine compliments you can pay each other. And, and you'll find it just builds and it adds. And uh, I remember when we did, uh, did one marriage course that the one chap said, I, 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 if, if, I, if I haven't got my phone and we can't talk about the, the car repairs and the house, well, what am I going to talk about? And we so ingrained in that. We so ingrained in our busyness and you know, we've got to see to, to the kids' school fees and, and, and pay the doctor's bills and all that, that we forget about each other and the needs we both have as male and female, as husband and as wife. And so I think if you can get this 
And this is a tip for a date. And I said I'll be sharing some dates. Well, this is the way to have the best date you can have. And you will find that conversation just flows. And then, you know what? If you get that silent moment, which so, ha so often happens, one can't just keep talking, talking, talking. I appreciate that. If you get that moment where there's that minute silence, take each other's hands, squeeze each other's hands, and just tell each other how much you love each other. Well, you're going to see. Man, there won't only be romance in the air. There'll be a lot of other things as well. And, and it just draws you closer and makes you more appreciative of one another, more excited about each other. So I, I just wanted to share that with you and just pray that um, you, you'll take some hints and some tips uh, and do it and see the difference it will make. If, it, if there's anything that breaks my heart is when I see a couple, it doesn't matter if they're a young married couple or an elderly married couple, and, and a couple going out for a meal or for coffee and cake or whatever it is, and they sit staring at each other, then they stare at everybody else at the restaurant and look at everybody else that's talking, and um, then the one will get the cell phone out, and then the other one will also get this. And I look at this and I think, you need to sow into each other's lives while you've got the time. Our dating time, our time to go for coffee and cake, our time to go on a date that's special, our time to go spend the night somewhere romantic and lovely without the kids is, is such a tiny part of our whole marriage life and our family life that don't lose those moments. Focus and concentrate on how you can bless each other and speak life into each other and you are going to have the best date ever. So that's my dating tip. Uh, number one, top, top, top priority. I couldn't stress it more. I couldn't stress um, more that you prepare. Now, I'm not saying, you know, be regimental about it and pull out the list and say, okay, honey, um, what, what do you think about this holiday? Okay, question answered. No, I'm just saying be prepared in the sense that you've got it in your heart, that, that, that you know what you're going to say, you know what you can talk about. And it's sad, we, we so seldom prepare for things that we need to look at and speak at as a family. And then what happens, we just barge in and we do something. And I've known of some date nights that have turned out disaster nights. Uh, because when they out, it starts off good, it starts off nice, they're excited. And then one of the others will say, yeah, but you, you, you know, we need to see to that. You know, you said that the other day to the kids and I didn't think that was right. And man... It is just like a volcanic eruption over that whole date. So hear my heart. I want you to be blessed. I want you to have a great time. I want that time when you have made that special effort to arrange a date, to be so special that both hearts keep pumping and they can't wait for the next one. And that's how it should be. And you're going to see the benefit of it. You sow into one another's lives in that way. And you're going to see what you're going to re reap. So be blessed. Happy preparing. Happy sitting down and planning a date. But most of all, get excited about what you're going to share to one another. And you will be blessed. So I wish I could be a fly on the wall when you go out for a date. And just hear what goes on. But I'm sure it's going to be exciting, blessed and good. So go for it. Plan your date. Be prepared. And you will be blessed. And I'll chat to you next Wednesday again on Has Romance Died.